if there's something that you want to stop doing in your life, whether it's yelling, whether it's overeating, whether it's procrastinating, anything that you want to be doing that you know is harming you, but you keep doing it anyways, this is how you do it. A lot of times people explain this in theory or they just share like weird self-help wisdom and they expect you to change. I'm going to tell you exactly how to change your actual brain according to neuroscience so that you don't do the thing that you don't want to be doing anymore. And this really works with any behavior that you are doing and you don't want to be doing. So um, this type of thing is often used for addictions because that's like the classic pathological behavior that we do that we don't want to be doing, but it literally works for everything. So I'm going to use yelling in this example because this is something that people do like, uh, you know, anger is difficult. And oftentimes this is something people very much regret. So if you're yelling, whether at work or at home, you typically have an urge you have an urge to yell. You have this really strong urge to relieve that like emotional tension. And the urge is what's key here. And this is in any single behavior that you're doing that you don't want to be doing. You will have an urge. You'll have an urge to overeat. You'll have an urge to overdrink. You'll have an urge to yell. You'll have an urge to procrastinate because this is your brain trying to get you to do this behavior because you developed a cycle of doing it and it knows that it has some benefit to you. So you gain some type of benefit from this, whether it's emotional release, whether it's kind of like some type of dopaminergic sensation, whatever, doesn't really matter. What you want to do, and this is literally just very simple, you want to separate the urge from the behavior. So you're going to have this emotion where you're like, I really want to do this. Like, I want to do this so, so badly, but you're not going to do it. You're going to just sit with that horrible, wanting emotion. You're going to want to do it so bad. You're going to want to do it worse than anything in the world, like more than anything in the world, but you're not going to do it. Uh, there's a term for this in psychology called urge surfing, but I actually wouldn't call it surfing because surfing is enjoyable. It's more just like sitting there in horrible pain, tolerating the urge. So what you want to do is you want to tolerate the urge and you don't, and you want to separate it from the behavior. So urge behavior, you're severing that connection because typically what happens for most people is that the urge becomes the behavior like this, like bam, you feel the urge, you act. You feel angry, you yell. There's like no distance between those. But if you make separating the urge and the behavior the goal, that's how you're actually going to change. So you need to sever that connection. You need to have as many urges as possible, naturally, of course, because it's not like it'll really work if you just create this inorganically. You want to have those urges and you want to not do the action. And that's your new goal you need to collect as many urges as possible. Those moments where you sit in that horrible sensation where you want to yell so much, but you don't. You do something else. You don't yell. And whatever you do, as long as you don't do the behavior, then you're going to make it easier the next time. And then you're going to make it easier the next time. It's like push-ups for your mind. And so it might not feel like that in the moment because progress isn't that fast. But after you've done this a hundred times, you're going to be a completely different person. You're going to have a completely different relationship with this behavior. And so that's what I really encourage my clients to do is to collect a hundred urges. So collect a hundred times where you've experienced that urge to do something and you haven't done that problematic behavior. And that's the goal. Just experience the urge, sit there, feel, feel horrible. And if there's one thing I can share that might make you feel better is that typically uh, we expect negative emotions to last longer than they actually do. So you'll probably feel horrible less time than you think you will, but you're going to feel horrible. It's going to feel awful. But as long as you don't do the behavior, that will break that habit. That will break that connection. And over time, you'll stop doing this.